What's up everyone, it's San Francisco for Wheels, back more diecast, and we have a very interesting video today. That's because we're gonna be doing an unboxing of a Mascar Ultima display case. So as you know, I have hundreds, thousands of Hot Wheels that I need to display and keep in good shape. So the folks at Mascar saw some of my videos, they reached out and were like, would you like a case? And I was like, yes, I would love to do a review on a case. So not only will we, will we be unboxing the Mascar display here, we're actually going to be opening uh, 65 Matchbox moving parts cars because that's how much uh, this case holds. It's 65 164 scale cars in regular size, just like these moving parts. So I figured it would be a good video to unbox all those Matchbox, kind of get those out of the way and have them displayed nicely because I never had a Matchbox display before. I have some oversized displays, um, I have some Carney cases, but those are very expensive and they take up a lot of room. This is more of a lightweight case. It does come with a dust cover. They all come with covers. It's made in the USA. Uh, it comes with, I think the color variations are you can choose from black, white, or clear background, which is interesting. Um, clear is kind of a different dynamic because if you have your wall painted, a certain color could really like accent the case. Um, but we just have like gray walls here. So I don't know what color they sent me. It could be any of those. So I'm excited to uh, unbox this. And today we again have a special guest, Miss 64 Wheels right behind us. Hi. So she's gonna be helping me with a camera Probably do a time lapse, but I do want to go over these moving parts cars because there's some killer castings in here. Some of them we've opened before, but the real showcase is going to be when we have them all unboxed and displayed in this case. I'm very excited about it. So I guess we'll go ahead and just unbox the case. Cool. So let's go ahead and bust this open. So you can see uh, the dimensions on the box there, 26 by 20 by 4, which is the dimensions of the actual display case. So I'm not uh, forgetting those. Um, but overall, it's come packaged nicely. Uh, it came, I think it just came like UPS or FedEx or something. Um, so we'll see how it actually turns out when we open it, because I've had it for a few weeks now. But all right, let's see. Paper interwrapping. Cool. So it is a black background, which is cool because that kind of matches everything. Um, I think black or white, even clear. I think all the colors go together pretty well. So let's go ahead and see how this looks. Okay, I don't want to crack the case or anything. Okay. So there is the case. It's got a nice weight to it. It's not too heavy. Um, and the good thing about this is right now we actually live in an apartment, so we can't hang super heavy stuff. Um, from our wall. So this is like, they couldn't have messaged at a better time. So I'm really looking forward to getting this hung up and like having some cars this late. And then when we actually move into our house, uh, which hopefully will be sooner than later, um, I'll be able to put this on the wall, no problem. So this looks pretty nice. So there you can see, it's almost like not egg crate, but it's a thick, um, probably, it's probably molded plastic, not injected. Um, but it still feels sturdy. It definitely doesn't feel um, as hard as like the Hot Wheels 48 car display case, um, but overall there's a lot of room in here. I think the separation is good. Um, I'm just looking forward to get it hung up. So there is the little mass car. It's mass car, not NASCAR. I know it kind of sounds the same. Um, the history of the company, they've been around for a while. Um, I checked because I wasn't sure. It seemed like they had sold some cases and then kind of went away for a little bit and now they're kind of ramping back up again which is cool because it's always nice to have more displays to pick from on the market um they do have a facebook page their facebook page was started back in 2014 so i know they've probably been around that long um but like i said i think they took a little bit of a break and are now really hitting it so they're doing a good job with their social media um they interact a lot they post a lot of cool stuff so just just make sure to follow them too and like and subscribe of course so I think that's it. I don't think there's any instructions. I don't think we need instructions for it. So it is nice. It comes with four little screws so we can mount it. I'm a little nervous <laughs> drilling into our uh, apartment wall, but it, this is light enough. And I think the moving parts cars are light enough that I don't have to worry about like putting super thick anchors in or anything. But that's another plus to this case because I do have some Carney cases. If you want to, you could kind of show it. It's a little mess right now. Um, those are nice cases. They're very expensive and they're very heavy. So while I like them, it does like, I probably wouldn't personally mount one on the wall just because I'm afraid I wouldn't do it right. And then they would fall and break. So, so having something lighter to me is a little more manageable, especially in a place that isn't as permanent as a house is. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Let me put some of this out of the way real quick. 
Okay, so I got some screwdrivers. I got some of the screws out. Um, all my tools are at a different location, but it's very important that you use a level on anything you're mounting on the wall, especially something that can tilt and knock cars off or action figures or anything like that. So it is important to have a level. I don't have a level, but I do have a level app on my phone. So I'm gonna try to um, use that to the best of my ability, but you wanna make sure if you're doing this at home that you do have a level or at least an app or something that gives you an idea of it being level. Um, because if it's not and it's tilted to the one side, you might damage it. A couple cars might fall off until it gets level or the whole thing might come off <laughs> and you just want it to look good. A crooked, like nobody wants a crooked painting or a case. So it's very important we get this straight. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to mount it right over here on the wall where I have a lot of other stuff that I'm keeping. I have some jammer cases. I have some of the Hot Wheels 48 count cases. Again, I have to stack those up because they're too heavy. Um, that's another problem with those is that they're very heavy and then they have really strong sh like swing doors to them. So when you try to do that, it just makes me very nervous that I'm going to pull it out of the wall and it needs stronger anchors because again, I don't want to drill holes in our apartment wall that I'm going to end up paying for. So I have to sit those. So this is my first wall mounted case. And like I said, I'm very excited to actually have something on the wall which is just, I'm crossing my fingers that this goes well. So I'm gonna have to use a Mrs. 64 wheels to stand behind me as well to kind of make sure it's like eyeballed straight. So let's go ahead and do that. You gotta have like your, um, your little like test holes. So I'll probably put it just like eye level here. Um, and then I guess I'm gonna put the screws down real quick. So try to use this app. And I know my phone has like, uh, buttons on it. Is that perfectly level? Wow. Did I just do that first time? Okay, hold on. Duck your Money. head down a little bit too so I can look like... Okay, I guess so. I mean, that's wow. crazy that you did that. What are the chances? Okay, now, but don't move it while you're <laughs> yeah, marking the holes. Okay, so I'm going to try to just push the holes, push the center, as close to the center as I can of these. Um, the holes are pre-drilled, so you don't have to do anything yeah, like that. I'm gonna like zoom in to kind of show. And there's no, uh, there's no worshers or anything that you have to put on. They just kind of drill straight in. So even though it's light, hopefully it's durable. Well, enough. hold on, do the do the but, bottom ones too. There's bottom holes. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do the top two for right now, and then once I get it like level, oh, I'm then you'll the do those. Yeah. Okay. That so as sense. long as the top is kind of good, so go ahead and take that off, and then let me. I'm gonna take this down, get my screwdrivers, and we'll try it out. Hopefully I don't hit like a water main or a sprinkler or go through the other side of this wall because I really have no idea how thick it is. Or, you know, electrical. Yeah. Okay, while that's there, I'm going to try to put the other one in. Okay, let's see where if I can find my little mark here. So you try to, I put it right in the center, but obviously because I'm human, I'm not going to get it exactly in the center. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna try to use, is that straight? I don't know, we'll figure it out. Okay, let's see how, not bad. So that I, I would just, oh, I well. would just leave your phone up there while you're tightening it, I know, right? I'm gonna drop it on myself. <laughs> Look at that. This one seems to be a little tougher. That might be in a, more of a stud. Yeah. Oh, look at that. So the screws do stick out a little bit, but if I had a drill or probably, a, you know, not doing this on camera, I probably could have got these a little more flush because that is going to um, take a little bit of the room away. Um, but if it was a, a super problem, you could just put a different card in. Um, these are pretty affordable. I don't know if I said the price. Um, the price of these are $69.99 plus shipping. And in terms of cases, that's a pretty good deal for 65 cars, a dust cover and a um, and screws and everything to mount it. Not bad. The Hot Wheels cases were around 50 to $60 if you could get them directly from Hot Wheels. Uh, the, or not the Cobalt cases, the uh, Carney cases. Those are $200-ish with shipping. Very expensive. Like I said, they're very heavy. So I'm hoping that this looks super sick filled and then I can just spend half the money and fill my entire walls with these. Maybe not in our apartment, obviously, but <laughs> in our coming house. So that worked out pretty well. So I just use a level app. It's literally called like level or tool app or something like that um, on iPhone. So if you need one, 
that's a good place to check. So let me, where did I do the other two? Let me do the other two. It's also a wild spring day here in Ohio. It's like 80 degrees and we don't have our air conditioning on. Look at all that dog hair. Oh, dogs, so nasty, little chihuahuas. Even though I love them. So it's super hot in here because we don't want our little dogs to come and kind of eat things in here. So we shut the door, but it's, if I'm sweating because I'm working hard. <laughs> it's all the hard, hard work. Yeah. I'm really happy with how easy this has been to put in. That has been amazing. Yeah, because usually I'm pretty handy, but I'm not coordinated and I'm not like, I don't want to use the word smart, <laughs> but sometimes I'm not as calculated as I should be with installing things and it usually doesn't go well. So if a low IQ like myself can put this in, you're probably So when you kind of like tug on a little bit, it feels like pretty good on the wall. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's solid. Yeah. And it is like, I don't want to say egg crate, but I will use that. But it's a little more, it's definitely like lightweight plastic. Yeah. So it does move, but it's not going to like break under weight or anything. Like right. That. So cool. Okay. So I won't take the cover off the dust cover yet. Um, that way we can kind of do it at one time and I don't scratch it up or anything like that. So let's go ahead and open some of these moving parts cars. Uh, what I'll do is I will probably do a time lapse of them all because it would it take me like two hours to open 65 different moving parts cars. So I'm gonna overlay a couple different um, like scans going across them, but there are some that I've opened before and there's some new ones here that I've never opened. So what I'll do is I'll open them up and then kind of do a time lapse. We'll put them in the case and then when we put them in the case, we'll look at everyone individually. And then lastly, we'll add this 70th uh, Matchbox anniversary set from last year that all had that like really cool matte orange color because i'm looking forward to those and that will look awesome like maybe we'll put that one in the middle or the bottom or the top because all the colors are the same going across so let's go ahead and time lapse it and uh see how this goes <sighs> was that 60 Oh my gosh, my fingers hurt. I feel like Happy Gilmore scream all after that. My fingers hurt. These are awesome. So, so that is all of them, except for five. The orange ones I don't have, uh, haven't opened yet, but I love the, one of the reasons I wanted to do it with these moving parts is I really like this line. I think they deserve to be displayed. And then two, the variation of the colors and body styles I think will look awesome. And the cool thing about it is if I don't like them up there or if I want to change it, I can take out and put some of my NASCARs in there. I can put my Fast and the Furious premium Hot Wheels in there. There's really nothing keeping you, or if I like it, I can just order more. So I'm really looking forward to actually putting these up there and displaying them. So um, what we'll do is probably do another time lapse and I'm, we're gonna like hand them off and kind of put them up in there. I'm not sure how we're going to um, display them, like arrange them, I think by color. I like by color. By color might be a good suggestion, kind of like fade it over a rainbow. Um, there are some more muted colors like the blacks, the silvers, the tans. So it, there isn't a ton of like very bright colors like a Hot Wheels line always. And, but that's one of the reasons why we like Matchbox so much um, just in the collector's world, I think is because they're realistic colors and they fit so well in those awesome action driver sounds. So um, let's go ahead and try to do the arrange by color on a time lapse. And then we will open the last five uh, orange 70th anniversary ones together and then kind of arrange them at the very last there. So let's get to it. For our last five spots, we will go ahead and unbox the 70th anniversary, the special edition. I feel bad ripping this card art because the card art is done. It's like a watercolor work of art. Um, there's the back of it. Look at that. In cursive. That's how you know it's fancy. Mm -hmm. So yes. Porsche 911. So I'm going to open these and display them as they go. So this is a one of five. One out of five. Um, they've been... Uh, Matchbox did so much stuff last year for the 70th. A lot of it was this silver... Um, they did a bunch of silver ones, but these look great. This is like a, I know it's like a contradiction, but it's like a metallic mat. It ha almost has metallic parts in it, um, but this looks cool. This is the same casting as the brown one here, but it just looks so much more dynamic 
um, in the orange, but it looks more realistic in the brown, obviously. But that's a cool one. Doors open. I don't think anything else open. So this is a plastic wing on there. Whoop. Looking good. Okay, next up. I think all of these, I, I think the only one that doesn't repeat is the Maz. I don't think we had the Mazda. Uh, I think it's a Mazda 3. This one's cool. This is a 64 wheel stepdad bought a black C8 and we drove it when we went to Florida and visited them. They're very nice cars in real life. So this looks awesome. What does that say? Anniversary on the license plate. That's pretty cool. So this one, man, look at the detail on that. That is awesome. That is really well done. Very cool. Okay, I'm gonna take the Corvette down. Where was that? It was like a brown color. Let's see if that detail is on just the regular version. And it is. That's killer. Man. Matchbox, this, I love this line. They just have so much good detailing on it. And there are, I mean, I'll, I can definitely fault them. There's a little paint hiccup where some of the moving parts might not fit as well on some models because of paint thickness or whatever. But overall, um, I didn't see any super big glaring issues. The only thing I think I saw was one, like there was like a chip on a mirror or something on, I think it was the Ranger but that's the only paint issue, like damage, I think I actually saw. So um, EV Hummer, I love this casting. I love this car in real life. We actually saw two of these yesterday in a row. We were out shopping and stuff. So love that casting. Looks good in orange. So here's the new one. This is the Mazda. Okay, it's just the MX. So it doesn't have a model. Yeah, it's just the MX. It's not a Series 3, I guess. For some reason, maybe I'm confusing it. I thought they did have a Model 3, or not a Model 3, a Mazda 3 hatchback or SUV or something. But maybe I'm just confusing it. I don't know. We've opened 65 of these, so I'm getting a little... <laughs> my brain mm -hmm. is getting mushy. But this looks great in this color, actually. I think Mazda's, their modern design is very um, underappreciated. I think they have some of the most aggressive-looking front ends. Um, this... Oh, what is in the back? Is there a little wiener dog in the back? Look at that. A wiener dog. Yeah, do you see it? Oh, hang on. Oh. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Hang on, let me get my... Oh. Can you see it? I don't it's know really if it's a hard to dog, see. But it's definitely a dog. It looks like a wiener dog to me. Okay. We're calling it a wiener dog. Okay, okay it's a wiener it's dog. It's a wiener dog win. Okay. Oh, so we'll go ahead. Put that one in there. That's cool. It's always nice to find extra detail like that on an actual moving part um, that you can open and take a look at, even if it doesn't open that much. All right, last five of five the Rambulance. So we get another Rambulance. This is the third one I've opened. I opened a white one, obviously that red one up there. And then this orange one, look at that. With the black accents, that looks awesome. It's got the metal doors in the back that are silver. Really good looking car. Whoop. All right, well, look at that. Like a pan okay. of those five that we just put in. So we are going to take the cover off now that we've unboxed all the cars um, and then we will put the cover on. So it does have this nice like cling wrap to it. Let's see here. I don't know um, what they suggest to like clean or dust this with because they it is a clear plastic so you don't want to scratch it using too much um, like a too abrasive of a rag or a paper towel or something like that. I'm sure I'm gonna get dog hair on it because it's staticky. So it does actually say top right here. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so that is the top. It's very clear, it probably has some dog hair on it. Like I said, so we will get my grubby fingerprints all over it. Okay, so we will try to put this on there and I've never done this. So I assume you just kind of put it on. It does look like it ha might have little tabs there. So I guess I'm just gonna set it over it like this. Does it snap in place? Nice. That looks awesome. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, that looks really good. I can't believe it went on so simply. Does it look like there's little Yeah, there's like something little notches or something. Okay, so it like rests in place. Yeah. It's a little loose. On the bottom right there. It's not on super tight, but it's on tight enough. I'm not like worried about it falling off right now. So that is killer. That looks great. 
Yeah, you like it? I do. So overall, like I said, they sent this to me for free, but they're not paying me or anything to um, basically lie about it. So I'm going to give my honest collector opinion. So for the price for roughly, I think, $70, and I assume it's around $15 to ship. So this is an $85 case. Now, that does seem a little pricey for how thick the plastic is, but I will see, say there is something for the ease of installation and how easy the front is to get off of this. So there isn't a swing door on it. It's not a huge swing up. You don't have to like, I have a case over there that you actually slide the plastic out. So you have to move everything off the top of it, slide it out. For this to literally just snap on and off like that is very nice. So I would definitely give this a pretty high score overall. The plastic is a little thin. It does seem a little more cheaper. Like if you compare it to like the Hot Wheels one, these are very thick, but again, those are heavy. I don't want to hang a heavy case on my wall. So because of the lightness of this case, I was able to hang it on my wall. So to me, I think the probably top five things about it is it's affordable. It's easy to hang. Um, it holds a decent amount of cars. And I like that they're five across because then you can put Hot Wheels car culture sets uh, in like in total, like even Hot Wheels, their case is only four across. Like how dumb is that? I'm, I love Hot Wheels, but like sometimes they don't think about even their own brain when they do stuff. So I like this a lot. Um, I will probably buy another one of these and I probably left two or three, three things off, but um, taking the case on and off is very easy. It looks easy to clean and it's easy to remove. So there's a lot of pluses about this. And personally, I don't think this looks cheap. Mm -mm, I think no, it, it looks, looks good. I know it feels a little cheaper, but I don't think it's giving half price of a Carmi case cheap. I really don't. No, and from my organizational side, I think if we were in a situation where we needed to take it off the wall to move it and you had multiple, I think they would stack night like you could stack, stack multiple them, yeah. nicely and it would not be a headache where some of your other bigger cases we've transported those before and it, like it's a little bit of an ordeal to transport yeah. those i will maybe we'll have to do a follow-up on all the cases when we move them um i just would worry about maybe the case getting warped or cracked if it was too much weight was set on it or i don't know how long if you set these in the sun if this starts to bake but they said it's like a collector quality plastic. Yeah. Um, it's made in the USA, which I do like. I mean, so I think what some of the other ones are too, but I just like, I like this style overall. To me, the big, the biggest selling point is the on and off so easy. Yeah, yeah, so easy. So, and it's so light too, like you said. Is. Like I could easily yeah. mess so with it and not have a problem. Yeah, so you can kind of see, you just kind of wiggle it off. Let's see if I can take it off here and show you. Like that's how easy it just yeah. came off to put it back on. So to me, that gives me more flexibility with my collection because if I was doing a video, like on the Fast and the Furious line, let's say on the car culture line, I could put them all up here and then be able to talk about them and grab them off one at a time very without easily. even having this case on it. Mm -hmm. So to me, this is a win. I'm very happy with this case uh, overall. I think it's it fits my needs better than what some of the other case companies are putting out there now. So it would also be super easy, like you said, to buy more. Like the ease of putting, like we could cover a whole wall with these, and like yeah. probably the matter of a weekend, easily oh, a yeah, day. Yeah. So and it wouldn't cost them. Yeah. It wouldn't cost as much as some of the other cases. Now, um, I don't in terms of like the Hot Wheels cases, they have they're like collector. A cl they have a collectability to them. Um, but I don't really care about who makes the case. I care, does it make my cars look awesome? Is it going to fall off the wall? And can I use it? Can I change things out? These hot wheel cases, um, I love them. They're great, but they have these huge swing doors. So like I have another one in the back there, but I can't get to them because I have them stacked up. And I have 18 of these cases. So we actually, I had them all filled up and they were such a pain to move around to open that I ended up taking all the cars out, putting them in the jammer cases, and we took them to storage. Mm -hmm. So the fact that I can have this up there is it's a win. For I, sure. I like it. I, I wasn't sure how this review was going to go because they did appear a little like thinner plastic. I was worried about, you know, the cases cracking. But overall, I'm I'm very happy with this. So I hope you like that video. I know it was kind of different than what we've 
done before, all the unboxings, but it was a good case review. I'm glad I did it. I'm pumped that I got this. Like, I'm, yeah. I'm very happy about it. I will put a link down in the description to their website if you want to buy it. It's not an affiliate link. I don't get any kickback for it. If you want to support them, good for you. I know I will probably buy a couple more of these just because, yeah, I mean, I like them. So that was cool. Well, that turned out as good as it could have turned yeah, out. Yeah, I, I think so, it was good. Yeah, I and like it looks. That. I mean, it looks great on the wall. It yeah. looks so nice. Yeah, so she did a good job with the coloration because I probably would have had it all messed up. The only thing I might change is put the orange ones like up in the orange. And I know we talked about that briefly, but I don't mind. That I actually think it looks pretty cool. Yeah. But you're, it would look good up yeah. in the orange too. And I have 400 plus NASCARs that I need to open. And these would look awesome yeah. in there because all the different colors. They display stuff. really well. So no. cool. Well, that was awesome. Well, let me know what you think of these in the comments. If you've bought any of these cases or if you have the Hot Wheels case, the Carney case, let me know how you like them. I really like these NASCAR cases. I do. I think this is a, a decent investment. So uh, we might have to do like a year from now or when we move and I'm like, like a, oh, it broke a, easy a or up. something like yeah. that. But as of right now, hang it up, especially if you're not moving anywhere. This is going to make a decent case for you. So I really appreciate you watching. Shout out to Mrs. 64 Wheels. Yes, thanks for watching. Here. I um, may be making some more random appearances here and there on some of these videos. We'll see. Yeah, because we're, we're trying to do a lot more stuff with it. So um, I appreciate you watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.